of it. Hi, this is Aaron Booker with Varvid.com. I'm here with Norman from the Microsoft Bing team. Hi, how are you? Norman, what do you see some of the strengths of, of uh, Bing in the marketplace right sure. now? Sure, uh, specifically what we do with Bing is what we like to do is specifically have three main things we want to accomplish. One is basically give you the best results, because we are still a search engine at heart, and we want to basically be able to give you those results. At the same time, what we also want to do is we want to give you the best organized results on top of that. Because what we call ourselves as well is we're the next evolution of a search engine. We're, we are a decision engine. We're here to help you make your decisions as quickly as possible. So that's why we're able to organize your results for you. The only thing we want to do is basically be able to help you with your key tasks, specifically in health, shopping, local, and travel. Those are the main things that Bing are trying to accomplish, and those are the things we're focusing in on for the next couple years. I have to say, I've had personal experience with two of your those services you just mentioned, with travel mm -hmm. and with shopping. I've got about 150 bucks coming back to us with video equipment. Nice. And I've got, uh, and the travel piece is just phenomenal. Really helped me organize for WPC. So you guys are really doing great stuff. You've got some new stuff you just announced that was of personal interest to me. You want to talk a little bit about the Twitter search? Sure. Basically, what we've done is we decided to partner with Federated Media and Twitter and come up with what we call Bing Tweets, which basically allows you to do a real-time search of both what's going on on the Twitter stream as well as what's going on in Bing. So actually, when you looked at Twitter right now, or we looked at it right now, there was this whole thing with Al Franken and um, uh, Sotomayor and the whole judicial hearings. And actually, as you see right now with Bing tweets, what you can see right now is that there's a Twitter feed right now with about Al Franken, and at the same time, Bing is showing up different news stories about Al Franken as well. So you see the, the kind of the nice what's going on in real time versus what's going on in the search engine world. So it's a great chance to learn a lot about what's going on in the world. Well, I, I personally really see the strength of Bing. I, I, many people haven't tried it yet, unfortunately, but you guys have been growing market share pretty dramatically. A dramatically is an interesting word we can use. I mean, it depends on which source we use. When we use the official Comscore source, we basically only gain 0.4% percentage points, which for most analysts think that we were expecting us to hit like three or four percentage points, which is a little bit harder to do. Mm -hmm. But we think it's a step in the right direction. Again, the way we look at it is the same way Steve Ballmer says, is this is a long battle we're facing. Yes. We kind of just threw our hat in the ring, let everyone know that we're here here, we're not going Ladies away, and, and we're going to work really hard to get search the way it is. So the quality of the search is fantastic, and so I know that once people try it, they really seem to really like the results better, and it just seems to be a better search experience. So I have, I really see it as a Halo product, quite frankly, for Microsoft. The people that like it, try it, then they start to think, hmm, maybe I should check out this other Microsoft product. Windows 7, I see the same way, so I think this will be a really strong year for Microsoft. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think it's going to be a great thing for Microsoft. It's going to be an exciting year for Microsoft, so looking forward to see what happens. Thanks so much for your time. All right, thank you.